Sewer supply must be destroyed! Hey, what's up, party people? This is Spearfield7 today with another 2K18 rant video. I cannot believe what this company's been doing lately, man. So I've been working on a show for the past month. That's why I've been kind of uh, out of the game. Um, and when I do get into the game, it takes about an hour to get into a match. You know, when you have limited spare time and you just want a ball and you want to have a good time, um, 2K18 really hasn't been a great candidate, but I cannot believe the news report I saw this week. You probably have already noticed or have seen this, but I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. 2K18 got in trouble with a lot of major brands uh, for allowing people to put their logos and trademarks onto clothing at the uh, little custom kiosk custom t-shirt kiosk in the neighborhood now when you play the neighborhood you play park you notice that a lot of people are wearing weird shirts with gucci and superheroes versace and basically everything that a hype beast could ever dream of has been put into the game <laughs> But basically, they're up to some fiendin' no good stuff, and without sort of warning, they took away a lot of people's wardrobes. They just took away your shirts. They were like, hey, people complain to us, we have to take them out of the game, and uh, oh, by the way, you're not getting a refund. It's like, oh, 2K18, you just, you are the gift that keeps on giving. Players on Reddit and YouTube are saying that both shirts they've created and shirts that they have purchased are being removed from their inventories. One player who reached out to the gaming website Kotaku was able to get a shirt refunded for his shirts, but said he only got 10,000 BC, the price of about three shirts, when he paid for 10 shirts total at 3,500 BC each. That's over 30,000 BC this guy paid for clothes. And basically they tried to come to him with a compromise. They're like, we're gonna give you a deal with the devil. You know, we'll give you 10,000 BC back. We're really sorry about what happened. It's like, no man, give him a full refund what are you talking about they have all the data they have control and access to your profile at any given time they can see how much was taken away from you and they can give you a refund for all that well, i had to act like sherlock holmes and walk on over to the kiosk to see what kind of shirts we got and surprise surprise after they took away everybody's shirts they didn't give people refunds we go into the t-shirt kiosk, we see Kanye West's little teddy bear, we see uh, t-shirts with Supreme on them, Versace, the It Clown, some Dragon Ball Z references, Superman's logo, that is definitely a trademark image, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. So basically we have all sorts of stuff that's copyright, clear copyright infringement, clear trademark infringement, and now the most popular shirts in the kiosk are trademark images. Now what they've done to kind of fix things a little bit is that the shirts are free, but it doesn't account for all the clothing that people have purchased with their stupid made up digital cryptocurrency that they push in this game literally every time you log in. I just, I logged in last night for the first time in probably two or three weeks and I see like oh you've been you've been pre-selected for a 30% uh, discount on a VC pack does that does that make you feel good Spearfield 7 you should just give us uh, another $20 uh, for this game next thing you know they're gonna have some sort of Nigerian prince sending me emails saying that if I can forward him $10,000 he'll give me 20 million dollars once he can get safe and legal passage to the United States. It's just like, these dudes are scam artists. It's like, hell no, dude. Come on now. But once again, this game, since from the rip, from the jump, this game has been about parting you with your money. And if you enjoy the game, I totally understand. That's cool with me that you enjoy the game. More power to you. Keep playing the game. Keep enjoying the game. Keep spending your money on this stuff. I do not judge anybody. I just can't believe the, the lack of oversight on 2K's part that people were going to do this. If you give people a tool to create things, of course they're going to upload imagery that's trademark infringement what I don't get and what I find inexcusable is that they don't have the research to know that this is what people are gonna do with their game and it's kind of puzzling to me why it took until December 
for all of this stuff to come out and for them to make these adjustments to their game. The game came out in like September and it's kind of weird that they've waited until now to take this stuff out of the game. You'd think that someone over at NBA 2K18 headquarters, you know, they're down in the laboratory and they're just like, hey man, this is not going to work. We shouldn't do this. We shouldn't allow people to upload custom images, put on these custom t-shirt designs. We could get in trouble with other million dollar, billion dollar companies. I mean, 2K is no small fry. It's been around for a really long time. They have a lot of money. So it's just such a boneheaded decision that all of this happened. I don't know where I really stand on it, but I do think that it's very suspect. So I know what you're saying. You're probably saying Spearfield 7. Look, this gives free publicity to the companies, to the items that are being featured in this game. And I wholeheartedly agree with you. I do think that if I was owning one of these corporations, I wouldn't really sweat it so much. But that's not the world we live in. And honestly, there might be some CEO at like Versace is like his, his baby daughter plays 2k18 and she hates all this microtransaction stuff like the rest of us and he's like hey you know what we don't want our brand associated with your game i think that's the most important part here people don't want their brands associated with 2k18 and i think that that should tell you a lot and i don't want to be skeptical but maybe this was their intention all along Maybe this was their intention to add all these copyright images and they probably had a business meeting and they were like, look, we have to take away their clothes. That's fine. We're not going to give any refunds. And basically they could waste 30,000 VC. And what happens when you run out of VC? We're going to approach them with our sketchy asses and just ask them to fork out more money for VC that they spent on clothes that they no longer have access to. So this game, like I said, is a nickel and dime show. It's basically a $60 free to play game and it's just completely spiraled out of control. But you know what, as a YouTube creator, it's kind of cool that they're the gift that keeps on giving. Let me know down in the comments below, did you take a big hit from this trademark purge in the game? I'd love to hear from you. I'm gonna be posting uh, neighborhood stories, I don't know, probably next week sometime. They're just so arrogant. They think that they're the king and that they can't, they can't be dropped and they better hope, they better pray that Live doesn't get their act together in the next couple years because there will be true competition in the NBA basketball game sphere. I think that there are more than a couple people that are rooting for 2K's demise at this point. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be back. Until next time, Spearfield 7. See y'all later.